Welcome back to Cooking with E. Today we're going to make corned beef brisket on the Traeger. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to make this here corned beef brisket on the Traeger. I'm just gonna do some simple seasoning. We're gonna take a little bit of garlic powder, black ground pepper, onion powder, and then I'm gonna use the packet. Came with that there, corned beef. All right, let's jump in. So I'm gonna start out with garlic, cause that's my favorite. Nothing too crazy, just a little extra seasoning. Beep, 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 beep. Now it comes in a brine, and I'll show you later what we're going to do to make sure we don't overpower this thing with more salt. Let me get this here pepper open. Make sure you don't open a big set. Now you can go pretty heavy on pepper when it comes to beef. That's uh, beef's best friend is black pepper, so make sure you put the enough black pepper on there to get that flavor to pull out. It just makes it more beefy. All right. Oh, it's heavy. Don't look that heavy, but boy, beef is heavier than pork or chicken for sure. This here is about four pounds. We're gonna go 225 on the grill. And I'm just gonna let this thing roll. I'm gonna smoke it for two hours. Then I'm gonna put it in the pan and I'll show you what I do with that. And then cover it in foil and cook it for another three, 225. Looking for an in temp internal temperature around 190, 195. Little bit of this here. All right, I'm gonna finish up putting this little guy right on top, right on this fat cap. I'm gonna cook it fat cap up, just like I do pork. We're gonna find out how this goes. Stay tuned. Today's pellets we're using on that smoker. A little bit of Traeger apple, some Traeger oak. It's gonna give us uh, some real good flavor on that there still. All right, so it's been about an hour and a half. Starting to get some color. Popcorns and love up on there. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Alrighty, we are back. It's uh, two hours in. We've smoked it for two hours. Uh, I went ahead and got myself like a turkey pan and just put some water in there so we can get the water up the sides of it. And then I went ahead and just chopped up, chopped up a little bit of cabbage here. Because my wife, her Reuben sandwich is her favorite thing ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that pop it in there and we'll get the meat in here it's gonna be a heck of a hot tub okay you got the brisket out popped it in there you can see there's still some love on the top we'll go ahead and take this and just sprinkle it all around there just like that I'm not gonna to go too crazy with it I know it's just enough for some sandwiches all right, now I'm gonna take our little grilling foil here, cover this bad boy up, and then we'll go ahead and chuck it back on there for another two to three hours. All right, so I took the liberty of wrapping this bad boy up. Nice sealed tight. We're gonna leave this thing on here. Yeah, 225 is where I got it set at. Go ahead and leave that on here for another two to three hours. I'm going to have to check the temperature and we'll find out what that magic number is on the four pound piece of brisket. Stay tuned. Okay, so we've hit hour number five. Time to pull it off and then I'm going to let it rest a little bit. Get my trusty hot hands here. Make sure you use some. Don't want to burn your fangies. Not want that juice on you. Ooh. That's hot. You don't want juice on you. 
Be careful. We're gonna let this thing rest, say 20 minutes, half hour. Then we're gonna pull it off, slice it up, and enjoy. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, it's time. Let's take a look-see. It's just a little warm in there. Still a little bit toasty. Yes, I know I have hot hands right over here, but let's see how hot my hand can get. <laughs> Ooh. I feel that steam. It's starting to smell good. Man, if I smelled like this, my wife would feed me beans every day. All right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. I got to get this in the house. Give it a shot. Still hot. Oh, <laughs> after you like. After you like corned beef, we gotta make you some of that. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe. Check out my race channel too. Same channel. Can't miss it. See you next time. Bye.